Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mini Tip Monday. Yes, that's the tagline we're going with. I really appreciate all your suggestions. They were all great. I ended up going with Shane Beasley's Mini Tip Monday. It just had a nice ring to it, so that's what we're going with. Now for today's Fusion 360 tip, I'm gonna go over a feature that I bet many of you didn't even know existed, and that's the replace face feature. So let's jump right in and I'm pretty confident that uh, you're gonna really like what you see here. To show you how this works, we'll start by creating a simple shape. So let's go to sketch, create sketch, and we'll choose our XY plane here. Now it doesn't get much more simpler than just a uh, extruded rectangle. So we'll grab a two point rectangle and just draw a rectangle. Any shape and size will work here. And now we'll go to create, extrude, and let's just extrude that up and click OK. All right, now that we have our box here, we're gonna create an offset plane uh, from the top surface. So we'll go to construct down to offset plane, click on the top surface and just drag that arrow up. Again, a distance doesn't matter as long as it's on top. Click OK. All right, now we're gonna go into our sculpting environment. So we're gonna go to our create menu. We can either click on the little uh, purple icon up here or click on create and grab the create form. Uh, button here. Same thing. Next we're going to go into create menu here and we're going to grab the plane option and we're going to choose the plane that we made. So if you don't see it make sure that uh, your construction light bulbs are turned on and then click on that plane and let's go to a top view and we're just going to start at the center here and just draw a box that's going to be on top of our previous box that we made. So we'll make it a little bit bigger and you can see the outline here of our original box. So click on that and then we're going to take on these little uh, uh, click on these little arrows here to drag to give us more more lines going in the x and in the y direction. So we'll get like a grid pattern here. Uh, and again, don't worry about the size uh, or how many, just as long as you've got a pattern there, we'll click OK. And now we can go ahead and sculpt this. So with the sculpting environment, we can either you know choose a lines or points uh, or faces. Uh, so let's go ahead and right click and we're gonna go to edit form. And now let's say we choose a face, we get that little widget, we can drag that up. Uh, let's try a line. We can drag that up and let's try a point here and we can drag that up as well. Uh, we can select uh, multiple uh, faces here. So we'll grab, uh, hold shift to grab multiple uh, faces here and then we can go ahead and drag those up as well and that gives us sort of a bigger uh, uh, shape there to manipulate and then I'll go ahead and grab a point there, bring that up. Uh, and you can also manipulate these by you know, moving them to the side and such. Uh, so we're gonna create sort of um, just like a, a landscape here. You know, we're just gonna play around with this a bit. Um, and now that we have uh, our shape here, we can click on finish form and that brings us back, uh, I wanna say into the modeling environment, but the sculpting form, it's just like a subset of the modeling environment. Um, but now we're back into sort of parametric modeling mode. Okay, so now let's get into uh, the actual replace face part here. So we're going to go to modify down to replace face and we'll get this box that says what's your source face. I'm going to choose the top of my box and what's my target face. I'm going to choose the bottom of that uh, uh, sort of landscape that we created and check that out. So it's going to bring that box up to attach to our landscape and we're going to click OK. Uh, and now we can simply click on the outside face here, anything that um, goes outside the box, and then just click delete, and that will delete that face. So take a look, how cool is that? Now we have this very sort of organic shape form that we've combined with our parametric box. So very powerful feature here. Um, go ahead and play with this, I think you're gonna uh, find that it's going to be a very powerful tool to have in your back pocket when you need to use it. All right, I'm going to be posting these weekly. So if you found this helpful, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And if you're serious about learning Fusion 360, check out my website at desktopmix.com where I have full courses on getting you started with Fusion 360. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.